This airplane hadn't been flown in 28 years, so they got it up to go and, and um, we're doing the checkouts on it and get it back flying. I have to uh, pinch myself every morning to get to do this. It's a tremendous airplane. EAA's North American P-64 is a really unique part of the aircraft collection at EAA, and it has a great legacy within the organization. Uh, it was clearly one of Paul's favorite steeds. Uh, he very much reflected to me and many, many others how special that airplane was um, and how much he enjoyed flying it. It flew at many aviation events all the way through the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. It actually was in Pearl Harbor happened to be in a shipping crate, but it was actually in Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. Having airplanes that physically were at this major iconic activity in history, uh, be able to fly for our attendees at AirVenture and be part of that 75th recognition of the attack on Pearl Harbor, just absolutely was a no-brainer. And we're excited to see it take to the air again. Just yesterday, it flew for the first time with Stu Dawson. I'm really surprised how good it runs after 28 years parked, but they did it right. They pickled the engine and they put it inside the museum where it was climate controlled and it seems to have you know, weathered it very well. We've been just so pleased with how the engine's running, how the systems are working. It behaved just like we expected. It's a T6 on steroids. It's just a fun airplane to fly. Um, feels great, flies great. It's just great to see it back in the air. Airplanes belong in the air. That's where they're home.